Well, hi. This is Rob Sacco, a.k.a. Rob Robin on most of the watch boards. Two watches you see in front of you are Anonymous. I'm going to talk about uh, what they are. Um, back from 2007, Anonimo uh, teamed up with Ford and uh, issued a Carroll Shelby Cobra watch um, for the release of the new Mustang Shelby GT. So they came up with uh, 500 of these and 500 of those. And the only difference is that stripe on the dial. This one's silver, as you can see. And the other one is gold. So they're, uh, I think it's model 218 um, in the Anonimo line, called a Chronoscopio. And the uh, slight very, and they're a chronograph, three register chronograph. So you get a little more light in here. That might be a little helpful. So uh, three register chronograph, standard pushers on the right hand side, and has a screw down crown, which I popped out to. So you can see the uh, Cobra insignia on the dial, which is right there on the left. And, so, and they have little uh, checkered flags around the top and bottom register. And it's day date. I'm sorry, it's a two register chronograph in uh, the uh, center seconds that uh, spin around. So Chronoscopio 2. And then on the back. Uh, you can see it right there. Is the uh, Cobra insignia etched into the glass back? So uh, it's a pretty interesting little watch. As I said, it was uh, created in 2007. It's a uh, stainless steel case. I think they call it uh, ANSI or ANSI 2316. So it's a pretty good steel and it's been sandblasted so it gives it that uh, satinated uh, look it uh, has a uh, Valjoux 7750 movement so it's kind of the workhorse of the uh, industry for chronographs you can see it there as I turn the rotor there around in circles yeah, this is model 218 right there it's um, water resistant to uh, what was it? Uh, 20 atmospheres, which I think is around 2,000 meters, and uh, has a 40-hour power, power reserve. So it uh, lasts a good day and a half or two days off the wrist. Uh, sapphire crystal front and back. So it. Uh, can take a lot of punishment. The uh, bezel is uh, screwed down with uh, four, actually five screws there. One, two, three, four, five screws in the front. And on the back it's a, uh, it's screwed down to the case. So um, all of these come with a uh, Kodiak strap from Anonimo. A signed Kodiak strap there. You can see the little anonymous insignia there. And uh, I think they call it, uh, there it is right there. Yeah, try to get in focus. And they uh, come with a signed anonymous buckle. So they do a nice job of detailing the watch. Um, the uh, band is held in with, like the panter eyes of these screw lugs. So, uh, you can see it's screw, the screw heads on both sides. These are a little bit different um, in that there's a one of the lugs, uh, one of the uh, screws is a little short head that uh, screws on the end of a bar and then that bar goes through the... Uh, so yeah, I need two screwdrivers basically, one at each end, one here and one there and screw that one. That's why I don't take them off. <laughs> it's just a pain in the butt. They're not easy to work with. But you know, once you get it loosened up um, I've done it on a few of mine. The last list price on this back in 2007 um, 
was, let's see, $5,500. So it was quite expensive for the time. I don't think they sold out because the price was a little steep at that time. And uh, I've kept these uh, since the beginning, but have uh, since put this one, the silver one, up for sale. It, uh, the value movement is adjusted in four positions, though there's no chronometer certificate with it. But uh, it's been, both of them actually been running to uh, chronometer standards. Well, it's not much to say else about these. A standard chronograph, chronoscope 2 special edition of 500 each for the, um, the tribute to the Ford Shelby Cobra GT that was issued in 2007. So it's a pretty nice piece. Interesting collectible for those who collect cars. Um, at the time I was into Shelby Cobras and kind of switched back to the uh, GM Chevy Corvette. So I have to find some Corvette watches. There's not too many around. I'll probably keep one of these. Alrighty. Again, this is Rob Sacco, Rob, a.k.a. Rob Robin on most of the watch boards. And uh, we'll see you when I have the next watch to uh, do a video on.